Welcome to Wrong Time Watch. My name is Kevin, and today we're taking a look at a couple more of my uh, glycine combat subs. Uh, I have both of these here, and I'm going to be selling them, so I figured I'd just do a quick video comparing these two. They are essentially the same watch, just with different colorways. Um, we'll go over the specs on this one here. So these are really thin watches, considering that they are rated to 200 meter water resistance. Obviously, they have a screw down crown. They are, uh, they have a 60 click bezel. Let me zoom back out a little bit. 60 click bezel. Um, they also have this unique feature on the bezel here with this little bump out. I really like that feature. It'd be neat if any other watches had that. This is the only watch I've seen with that. So it's a nice bezel, especially considering you can buy these for $320 now. So this has a black bezel, black aluminum bezel insert, black dial, white hands, and uh, white indices. This is the latest vintage. It has the new logo there and the dial, new printed logo. It's engraved on the crown there. And also has this nice, uh, it's probably a laser engraving on the back there. It's not very deep. So this is a GL0087. And uh, this one here is the GL0083. This one's on a NATO strap. Now this one here is obviously was on a nice rubber, nice thick rubber strap. Silicone strap. It smells of vanilla, so I'm not sure if that means it's one or the other. Probably rubber. Anyway, this is the GL0083. Again, with the black dial. The black aluminum bezel insert. And then as you can see, this has the orange hands in the indices. The same printed logo. Looks like the wording below is a little bit different color too. Yeah, this has uh, white and orange. And that's all white. So the 13, 14, so on to the 24 is white on this one. And on the 8.7 it is orange. So those are the main differences. Uh, I think I forgot to go over all the measurements. It, it is a 42 millimeter diameter watch. Uh, again, it's... 10.5 thick lug to lug on this is 50 50 millimeter it's a little bit long for for my small wrist but it curves down nicely so that's okay for this watch and the lug width is 22 which is great so you can uh, customize your straps very easily or customize the watch with different straps very easily so those are the specs real quickly. Hold these up to the camera so you can see them here. Like I said, it's, it's, it's the same watch, just different, a little bit different coloring to it. Um, the hands on this one are, it's like a gunmetal color. Actually, I am wearing the, another combat sub. I'm wearing the GL0094. Been wearing this for three four days now i'll do a review on this one uh, towards the end of the week but um so you can see the hands on this are also stainless but it's not uh it's not as dark as the one on the left here so I'll pull this up to the camera you can kind of see what i'm talking about it's a gunmetal color and this one's just more of a you know, like the case stainless steel and these watches are Swiss made with a Swiss movement, Swiss automatic movement. Used to have the ETA movement, but now I believe they have the Solita SW200. But uh, Glycine calls it, if you go on the website, they call it a uh, Glycine GL224 or 244, something like that. Uh, so, not really sure what it is. I'm not taking the case backs off of these either. So, let me get this one off wrist and I will show you what this one comes on. This one, the GL0094, this comes with these fabric or canvas straps, I guess, leather backed, but they're very, very stiff. And actually on my six and a half inch wrist, they, uh, they didn't fit. The last hole on here was still too loose of a strap for me. 
So I put it on this needle strap and it made a, a big difference. This, this watch is an absolute joy to wear on a needle strap. You know, let me put it back on wrist and I'll, I'll show you. This, th this is an amazing combination. I think everyone should own a glycine combat sub. Just like the Seiko SKX. I think everyone should own one of those. Well, maybe not anymore. I guess you could get a Seiko 5KX. Even though it's not a true dive watch. It's more of a dive style watch. Anyway, going on a tangent. So, let me see if I can show this to you here. It does take off the wrist a bit, but even with the NATO strap, the thickness on this is not that thick. Here, I can measure this other one. I say it's probably, I would bet the Glycine Combat Sub with the NATO strap is still thinner than a Seiko SKX, which I have one over here. I can measure that real quick. So, there it is. With this NATO, which it must be a millimeter thick, I'm at 12.5, and my SKX 171, yep, 13.1 millimeter. I actually have a, t have a turtle here too. What the heck, let's just throw a bunch of watches into the video. So turtle's a little, well, no, it's about the same, 13 millimeter, so. There you go. You've seen it here. Maybe not first, but uh, Seikos are thick and glycines are nice and thin. So this uh, GL0094, I'm 95% sure, certain, certain that this is a black dial. I know the bezel is blue and the straps are uh, obviously blue. This, by the way, I got from cheapestnatostraps.com when they're having their sale. I think it was 5 or 10 bucks. I don't know. I don't know how long it'll last, but I like the way it looks on this watch and feels. So let me... Let's just do a, let's do a loom shot. And uh, you guys can take a look at these next to each other and see which one you like the best. Oh, I forgot to mention this. This is the in-between... I call it the in-between version. This is the end of the uh, glycine days. They had just switched over to this logo during the time frame that Invicta had brought them out. So I'll set these side by side for a moment and zoom in and you can study the difference. I have not tried to take these vessels off or anything or play around with them. Only thing I've done is change the strap. Uh, one more thing I can show that I forgot about is some of these in-between versions, they don't have the O-ring on the crown stem there. I'll leave that out for a moment. But these, the older ones did have the O-ring and now these new ones have the O-rings as well. So these, I just purchased these a uh, month ago or so. The older one I have has a um, drilled lugs and these newer ones do not. So anyway, I will be right back with the loom shot. So on the far left we have the GL0094, that's the blue bezel. And in the middle we have the GL0083, that's the one with the needle strap and the orange indices and hands. Then on the far right, we have the GL0087. Uh, my apologies about not having the time set the same. I wasn't planning on bringing in my GL0094, but since I had it on, I figured I'd just show it with these other two. So if you have any questions, uh, feel free to ask them in the comments. Also, if you could like, subscribe, and uh, ring the bell, I'd appreciate it. Thank you.